Okay, well, perhaps I should just wait a little while and see if anything falls off. Uh, mm, I'm gonna have to be. I should have actually added an, an abort sequence to this, having these. Uh, having this decouple and not decouple, actually undock and uh, the rockets on this fire to uh, pull these guys away. Uh, actually, it has barely enough power. Well, it has about a thrust to weight ratio of. Hmm. Not enough. <laughs> it has a thrust to weight ratio of not enough, actually. So. Oh well. And even the. Ob obviously, the nuclear stage doesn't have enough. But. We look pretty stable right now, so uh, yeah, cross your fingers. All right, we're ready to go and launch. So we are now on our way to Minmus. Uh, I'll, uh, if everything goes well, I'll be putting uh, certain parts of the launch up. And then you'll I'll talk to you again once I get into orbit. Oh, I suppose I can check right now. So our mass was about 300 tons on launch, which was less than my estimate because uh, I was have a payload of 35 tons. But actually, it should be uh, it should be fine. Uh, park count only 166, so could be worse. Looking at it now, I think I can get away with fewer struts. It is very stable, obviously, except for that SAS module on the top of the nose there. But uh, since we've gotten rid of those, everything looks very stable. The struts are probably excessive. But that's something you really only tell after the fact. It's better to be safe than sorry, especially with Kerbals on board. Booster separation. Okay. Looks like we need separatrons. Alright. I'm gonna throttle down. Decouple. And unfortunately this stage doesn't have enough thrust to do anything in the atmosphere. So we're just going to... And again I... Uh, oh crud. I have made a mistake. Because we've got Merman Kerman in here. How is he supposed to get back? Merman, not Merman, Wildred. Wildred, I've made a great mistake. I have, I have not built any way for you to get back. Uh, I put you in that line of can, but you would have had to have stayed in orbit anyway. Um, well, that's what we're going to have to do. Uh, uh, oh, oh, no. Hmm. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, but can I control no. All right, uh decouple. And uh we've got Merman Kerman here and uh let's do this and decouple him and engage his shoots. Now, I hope that's got to be enough to bring him down. Now. Now we need to get Wildred into orbit. He has a docking port on him. And now, this doesn't really have enough delta V. Uh, not delta V, uh, thrust. Uh, let's see, uh, yeah, it's, it's not got enough, it's not got more than uh, thrust to weight ratio of one. So this is going to be a tough haul, even at the best. I hope, uh, oh, look at all this. Okay, no, 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 I don't want to be distracted. Merriman is going to have to be on his own right now. 
I hope the parachutes will be all right with him. I don't know about the whole uh, physics range issue. I don't. Uh, I, I never really looked into that very well. So I don't know if uh, Merman's going to be all right. But I know for sure that Wildred will not be alright if I don't keep him thrusting like this. Still wait for me to... S I really need a uh, haystack or something. I am gonna... S uh, can't switch vessels while in the atmosphere. I don't know if he's gonna be alright. Well, this was a uniquely badly conceived mission. What was I thinking? I I I was I just I I I just got into the f oh and we're going down now. I wish we had uh, parachutes on their EVA or something. No, there's no way. Uh, well, actually, there is a way. Uh, if I had been able to dump fuel, there would definitely be a way, but... If at some point we do get a thrust weight... Well, I don't know if it can burn enough fuel to get us to a thrust weight ratio of 1 before we hit the surface. Um, yeah, I mean, this is just a nightmare. In my own defense, I'm doing this at a uh, very early time in the morning and perhaps not thinking straight. Uh, you know, I've got my cup of coffee here with me and perhaps I needed something a little bit stronger. I'm just going to try and go faster. Uh, since I can't switch back to uh, Merman Kerman, I can't do anything about that right now. Yeah, but I'm not going to... Well, you know, it's tempting to revert flight, but I have never done that in... I don't... Uh, unless there is a recording issue in that, uh, you know, sometimes Fraps and uh, Kerbal Space Program don't get along. I, I don't revert uh, in my YouTube videos. Oh, uh, the other situation is if I uh, launch a flight and figure out that I haven't been recording at all, that in that case I would revert. But uh, otherwise, no, I don't do that. No, this is silly. Yeah. All right. So I, I, I'll show it to you. I'm, I'm going to revert flight. Um, I'm going to revert vehicle assembly because this is totally my bad, and uh, ker Kerbals should not suffer for this. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll revert, and I'm gonna fix this. Uh, let's make sure that our. Okay, that's good. <sighs> so anyway, uh, obvious bad on my part. Uh, no way for Merman Kerman to survive that. So we need a way for Merman to also return into the atmosphere. And that's not too hard. What will happen is once they've uh, returned, and this will be the return stage as well, obviously, so all of this is coming back with us, um, is that is that, uh, yeah, Merman Kerman will, not Merman, Wildred will uh, wait in orbit while uh, Merman Kerman uh, descends. And then once Merman Kerman has uh, descended with the science, Wildred uh, will use these rockets to also descend, uh, get into a descent trajectory, and then, of course, decouple and use his two trusty radial chutes. <sighs> and that's all I really need to do. Of course, uh, this wouldn't be enough to save them... Oh, uh, it would. 
Uh, yeah. So what I would do is, if there's an emergency, I would decouple from here, okay, and then uh, descend them, and then right before I need to pop the chutes, I would uh, decouple this, and then uh, pop the chutes on both of them, and they should remain in uh, physics range when I do that. They should be close enough together so that I don't have to worry about uh, losing a Kerbal before because he moved out of physics range. At least I hope so. But let's try and not have that happen. Uh, let's do the Separatron thing. So it was really this tank that was uh, the annoyance. Maybe I should decouple that separately. It, it, it's because this knocked into those. I, I was under the illusion that... Uh, oh, and I shouldn't really have this pointing at the stack like that. I should have it tilted like this. I was under the illusion that we had clearance, but we really didn't because that can knocks into it. Make sure that these are not aiming at the main stack. It's important. And there's more mass down here. So I need to... Perhaps like that. This is pretty dodgy as it is. Maybe I shouldn't use a fuel canister here. But even something else might not be enough. Maybe I should decouple them separately, but then this will probably end up hitting those anyway. It's better if I uh, keep it connected to what has the separatrons. Okay. Alright. Let's try this out again, going to Minmus. This is probably going to be a long episode, so I've probably already uh, cut it up into two parts. But uh, let's, let's make sure our Cepatrons are firing at the right time, which is up there. Let's hope I've got this right. Crew is our crew. Nope. Uh, Merman and Wildred. Once again, let's hope for the best. We seem to we be wiggling a little bit. Uh, well, SAS on. Okay, F3 is fine. Uh, Merman and Wildred look all right. Throttle is up. Well, let's hope for the best. Yeah. Okay, moment of truth time. Okay, all right, blessed Separatrons, all good. Technically, we should be worrying about the inclination of Minmus, but I'm really not. Again, we've got a, this is not meant to get to Minmus, this is meant to get to much more far-flung places, so uh, trivial inclination burn is not going to be a big deal. What I am interested in is if this uh, main stage is going to have enough fuel to start us on our journey. Well, we should be able to uh, correct our inclination at Apoapsis, so close to it. Well, okay, maybe not. <laughs> our Apoapsis is slipping by there. And actually, let's hold off. 
uh, our apoapsis is quite high and I think I can actually boost into orbit and do the inclination burn so we don't need to do anything right now let's see I'm keeping my periapsis low because I aim to burn to Mimus from it but I need it in the right place at least That's about right. Okay, so that'll be our inclination burn and burn into orbit. Unfortunately, it does not look like this main stage had enough to uh, help us too much on our transit. Which means that perhaps our vehicle is not powerful enough to get us to... Uh, not only to the locations but also to break around the locations or to transfer around the moons depending on which place we go to whether it's Drez or Jewel. I... if it's going to be a case of uh, not being sure whether I can get back or not I would probably rather want to go to Drez. At least I haven't been there before and it'll be more interesting to send a rescue mission to it. Uh, Jewel is a pain to send a rescue mission to. Uh, you can uh, watch the videos of my attempts at Jewel missions previously to, uh, to see more of that. Now that we're up in the space, I think I can extend the solar panels, yes? Should do that. With this heavy stage, our uh, little reaction wheel isn't all that great, but I guess it's realistic enough. It's around here, let's burn. Honestly, there's not enough fuel in here to be too bothered about it. And let's see our situation. Yeah, that's our uh, that's our thing. I'll take this. All right. Uh, so let me just get to the maneuver node. And we'll burn the rest of this stage off, such as it is, probably just a couple of delta V meters per second, but... Okay, well, I think we should start now. Alright, this is going to take a while, so I'll uh, meet back with you once we finish this burn. Alright, a little bit off from my expectations, but not a big deal. Okay, uh, now of course it... no, it wasn't drawing fuel from that. Oh, that's because I added a decoupler here. Speaking of which, I noticed that the decoupler is in the wrong place altogether. Uh, so are a lot of things. Uh, I don't want these to decouple right when... Uh, keep in mind, uh, and my plan is that this needs those rockets while this after this one has descended so um, let's just correct that here but I'll have to also correct it in the craft itself once we get back to the VAB uh, and uh, the same thing is true for this actually this can decouple at the same time as those rockets yeah mm, so let me make sure this is that decoupler right that's that's the order of things. Oh no, wait. These parachutes. Um, so the upper stage staging needs to be fixed quite tremendously. But that's why we're testing this out on Minmus before trying to send it to Drez or Jewel. Such things do happen. We need to be aware of them. All right. So uh, we are on our way to Minmus, and I'll see you once we get there. Okay, welcome to the vicinity of Minmus. Uh, current flag population zero, but we are uh, aiming to change that with, uh, with Merman Kerman's 
Remember, Kermit is actually going to be beating Jeb quite a lot, because after all, he was the one who landed on the moon, right? So, uh, Mermaid Kerman is going to be our new hero here. He's going to have landed on both the moon and Minmus. Uh, I probably should have reconsidered that. Uh, I don't know if I want one Kerbal being so, uh, so important to our program. Oh, there's Minmus. Okay. You can even see Kerbin right now. Kerbin is right there. Actually, we don't need to take too much of a look of the maneuver node. We need to actually get into a tighter orbit than I had planned with that. Uh, an incline, inclined orbit is a little bit uh, annoying to rendezvous with, but uh, I think we've got plenty of Delta V on the lander, so I'm not concerned. Let's just get to the periapsis and make sure it's a decent orbit, instead of this uh, eccentric thing. That's quite sufficient. And now I want to get onto the dark side so that I can burn for a landing on the bright side. And conveniently, my periapsis is on the bright side, so that's good. Alright, I think uh, we're go for separation. Yeah, most of our instruments, uh, I think we've already done stuff around Minmus. Well, like that can't be done anyway. We'll just wait till we get to the surface. So... Yeah. Uh, do we have fuel? Yeah, we have fuel. Do we have electric power? Yeah, we have electric power. Okay. Merman Kerman. Let's activate your rockets. And we're away. Now, let's plot our landing. Let's actually, uh, because there's such an inclination with respect to all of our likely targets, let me fix our inclination here and perhaps we'll do the right burn like this and which way does Minus rotate if this side is going into the light side then this isn't going to be a problem well perhaps uh, hitting this uh, flat will be a feather in my cap It's a little bit of a tighter target. Oh, that looks right. I'm going to aim for the far side of it, of course. Sure, we don't knock our uh, our compadre over there. Okay, the other portion is floating right by. Unfortunately called Lander. Um, but uh, I understand the program sees the Lander can and thinks that's the Lander stage. Completely logical. Hmm, our inclination doesn't seem right. Uh, we need to be going further north. The rest should be all retrograde. And... Just saw our... Okay, safe uh, kilometer away. Our gear is down. Landing a Mimus is no biggie. Uh, fortunately, uh, Mimus gravity is, well, approximate to Dres gravity. Dres gravity is about twice as much as Mimus, but uh, relative to Kerbin, they're in the same order of magnitude kind of thing. So... Okay, let's get close to our, to our landing spot. Uh, this is retrograde, so... That's the thing I'm aiming for, isn't it? Okay, well, yeah, let's just uh, do the retro thing.
I again want to uh, aim a little bit north. The Minimus has rotated, that's why I'm not in the same position I thought it was going to be. But that's easily fixed with Minimus. Looks like we're pretty solidly above it right now. So why don't I get rid of my horizontal velocity? Yep, that looks good. How far are we above the surface? Oh, we're still too high. Probably shouldn't have been so aggressive. Alright. Surface. I need surface. Well, it says I it said I was high, but I think I'm not so high anymore. Okay, final descent. You know, perhaps we have way too much fuel on this lander stage for for Drez. Perhaps I should go with a less robust lander and also less power then. I think this would be more necessary for Val. Alright, we are on Minmus. All right, Merman Kerman, let's uh, do the whole science thing. Let's see if our ladders extend properly. Looks good. Send that one. Let's do the seismic reading because we don't get to do that very often. Uh, so Mimis is flats. So I guess this isn't a special flat, even though it's a nice little tiny thing. Sounds of shifting and vibration are detected under the surface. It is possible that the interior is not completely frozen. 100 signs for that, and it sounds like something that's worth a lot of science, so let's keep that data. Let's log temperature data. Uh, collected and recorded temperature data, alright. Um, how a barometer? Hmm, you know, barometers, even on the surface, we can't do it. You know, knowing that there is no atmosphere is an important point. It is a scientific piece of knowledge okay jeez all right um, material study while the material samples were processed you began to turn your thoughts to how much okay the mint dessert thing all right 125 science uh, how about the mystery goo test observe the goo 50 science crew report okay uh, we don't need SAS right now. Uh, we seem to have been uh, losing electric charge from the capsule, so I need to turn that off. All right, and now finally, Merman Kerman needs to uh, do his thing. Okay, and can we transfer? No, we can't transfer directly to the next ladder, but there we go. Oh, he's drifting back up again. What the heck? Okay. All right. Having fun on Mimis because of low gravity, which is much more conducive to Kerbal life. Okay, Merman. Time to plant a flag. So, Merman on Minmus Flats. And now it is... Okay, uh, so, just testing, okay, take surface sample, the surface seems to consist of tiny crystal-like grains, very pretty, probably not edible, 150 science, and EV report, you feel a bit like a superhero when you jump, jump in low gravity, yeah, 40 science, alright, I think... I think I'm actually running out of hard drive space. 
so I will have to uh, stop this and uh, do the return journey for Minmus and then discuss what I could do for either Duna or Jewel in the next episode. Alright, so I'm going to leave it here with uh, Merman Kerman happy on uh, Minmus and getting set to return to dock with uh, his buddy up in Minmus orbit and then return to Kerbin and then we'll test that system out in the next episode. And then I'll have to make some changes to this craft if we want to get it to Drez or Jewel. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you then <sighs> and as it so happened, right while I was trying to do my closing spiel, I did run out of hard drive space. My recording drive went down to 172 meg, and fraps stopped recording. So uh, let me try that again. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.